Hey guys, how are you tonight? Well, it's another me night. So I just figured I was in the engine compartment of my boat. So I figured I'd show you this big block 502 mammoth of a uh, piece of iron. Um, just doing some basics here. I just changed the oil on it. Um, one thing I did today is I replaced my carburetor. I did not like the Rochester that was on it. Um, I was having problems with the Rochester last year. I had it rebuilt. It still gave me trouble. So I just said I'm going to get rid of this problem. I thought it was water. I checked the, I checked everything. Couldn't figure it out. And the problem was with it is just the carburetor was just basically worn out. So I strapped on a brand new 800 uh, Edelbrock electric choke. Um, basically, the nice thing about these Edelbrocks is right out of the box, uh, they're pretty much set. Now, I haven't got an outdrive on this thing yet because um, of interesting issues. We won't go there, but um, anyways, I um, can't fire this thing up until I get my outdrive because I got no way of getting it water. So, 502 big block. That's basically her. There's really not a whole lot to say about it. It's a, it's a big block. So, I'm just in the midst of. There was a lock washer here somewhere. What did I do with it? <coughs> See it, Blake? Did you lose it on me? I didn't touch nothing. No? Well, there was a lock washer here. What did we do with it? I mean, what do you do with it? I mean, what did I do? I didn't touch it. Oh well, I gotta take this off anyways because I gotta set the uh, carb up anyways after we get the uh, after we get the uh, new. Um... Oh, I'm losing everything tonight. Where's my seven sixteenths? Ah. Leash is in the cabin. Both my kids are here tonight. You've never actually met Alicia. Um, Alicia's my 17 year old. There, that's back together here again. So, yeah, like I said, nice thing I like about the 268 is the room it has to work. Like, the engine's here. Um, hot water heater, everything is kind of central. Lots of room in this boat, and it's a deep boat. This is a great, if you're out in Lake Huron, this is a boat to have because this thing will take a lot of deep and heavy water. Um, nice thing about this boat, too, it has a remote oil filter, so I can easily change the oil with no mess. But um, yeah, take a walk down to the cabin, Blake, and go bug Alicia. She hasn't been on my YouTube channel yet, so let's go take a look. Hello, Alicia. Hi. So, anyways, guys, I just thought that's what I'm up to. I just nicely got the bottom bottom painted, so I'm going to let uh, Blake take the reins on this video and go out and uh, show you the bottom paint, and he'll talk to you on it and how much he hated doing it and how much I was a pain in the ass because I made him crawl under the boat. Yeah. That's because he's young and he can deal with it. Well, that's the bottom of the boat that took about well we started at about nine and we were done one side around 11 it took about four hours to do all three coats yeah <coughs> See Tell how long it took Blake yeah. Pain in the arse, but we did it. There we go. Blaker, let me just put the uh, hatches back in, then you won't fall in your face, because I am pretty much done with this end. Everything is serviced, ready to go. Drain plugs are back in the engine. We're ready to rock and roll that way, either than an outdrive, and I wish and my buddy at, at the outdrive specialist guy is getting that ready for me. So, 
I just figured I'd get ahead of the game this year. And especially when the kids were excited to come out and help me. Get them out of the house for a few hours. Right, guys? Yeah. Right, Alicia? You're not answering me again? Busy in debt. <coughs> That. Now we can do the haul and well that's coming out nice, eh, Leash? Yeah, the scrubbing is coming, it's scrubbing. Yeah. Just take the vacuum after you're done and just suck it out. Yeah, this doesn't really come out too well though. Yeah, you gotta might have to use the scotch bright. I'll show you. Just scrub the living crap out of it and suck it out with the uh, with the vacuum. It's a wet dry vac, so we should be okay. So anyways guys, that's all I got for you tonight, just working on our boat. We're going to be in the water in two weeks as far as I'm concerned. As long as everything goes hunky doodle dandy with the outdrive, my new outdrive that's coming. So, anyways guys, if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to take the phone here for a minute guys. I want you to have a look at my son's face from bottom painting. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like a spotted leopard. Well, so do I probably. It's a lot of work and it kind of sucks. And getting the stuff off your hands is even a bigger chore. But I use uh, Interlux Innervation Bottom Coat. I love the stuff and I swear by it. Anyways, like I said, guys, if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching again. And uh, we'll catch you again. Cheers.